I was going through a crazy, like, situation. You know, I lost my nephew in a fatal car accident. So, like, that just pulled everything out of me, like, and that's, like, where that came from. <laughs> So one day I pulled up to the studio and um, Forty's like, I need some beats and I just did what I had to do, sat down, put a folder together for Drake and the rest is history. First thing I did was take the Rhodes and like that chord progression and then I applied gross beat to it which is like in FL Studio and then that's why it gave it that like slow vibe. So before that it was like this. So I applied gross beat and gave it this. Before it was Reason and um, Nuendo or Cubase, but now like I just strictly FL Studio or, or and um, Pro Tools. I played all, all of that. When I slowed it down half time. So when I combine the two now. So this is actually a stock sound. And I just think it sounded so crazy. Like it was like the perfect blend. Like everything just made sense. And then like what I did to this bass line, I added um, Decapitator to it and then like tweaked it a bit just so it has that extra like, you know, like, dun, dun. I went back to the roads, the same roads that I had brought into the session and then I reversed it. Once I got to this point, I was like, this is over when I get to the drums, I swear. Right here when it did that sound, that's when I knew it was crazy. Like little things like this. Like that. So for the hats, it's pretty simple. I just made a simple pattern. But then what I did after is like I ran it through Effectrix. Just gave it like that vibe. Everything is melodics first, and then the drums. That's like the easiest thing for me. So I try to find that sound, create melody, and like all of that vibe. And that's pretty much it.